killed everyone on the roster. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. So with the whole news of Xbox potentially, potentially, because let's just be very honest, these are just rumors right now. But with the potential news of PlayStation getting some of Xbox probably most iconic games that they've ever had and some of their new exclusive games, I got to be honest. <clears throat> I think this is a bad thing for Xbox. I think this is a bad thing for PlayStation. But I also think that we have to put the blame on certain people. And one of those people will be Phil Spencer. Now, Phil Spencer, to me, he tries to come off as a, as this gamer, CEO, head of Xbox. But I don't know. To me, it, it seems fake. It, it comes off fake. And if you are truly a gamer, you had the power. You had all the power. So something doesn't match. How is it that you had all the power and you let Xbox get into this situation? You had all the money in the world and you still let Xbox get in this situation. That is why technically this video is about him, but I can't just put all the blame <clears throat> on Phil Spencer. No, 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 no. I got to put some of the blame on the Xbox community, specifically on the Xbox fans that are YouTubers, that have Instagram, that kept praising Xbox, that kept telling you, the fans, the actual fans, that Xbox was fine, that Xbox is having a big year, that these games are big, that Starfield is incredible, Redfall is incredible, blah, 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 blah. And those fans are like your Colt Eastwood, um, Paris. Uh, there's so many out there. Uh, your Tim Dog, I believe that's how you say, or whatever his name actually is. Um, there's a lot. Brad, uh, Brad Sims, I believe that was somebody also. Destiny. All these guys kept telling you Xbox is fine. Xbox is fine. Starfield's amazing. Starfield's amazing. Redfall's incredible. They kept telling you all these lies. And they were lying to you. Just so they can look good for Xbox and they would get invited by Xbox. Now, you can do whatever you want. You can... You're an adult. You know what you're doing. But now looking at it, I find it hilarious that a lot of them are now saying that they're quitting. They're doing this. They're doing that. And it's hilarious that it takes Xbox basically ignoring them, basically not telling them what they're going to do. Because at the end of the day, you were just pawns. You were just used by Xbox. Maybe by Phil Spencer, too. And you kept lying to you kept lying to your own fan base, telling them all these lies. And now the truth is supposedly coming out that well, Xbox was never doing good. Xbox was never reaching PlayStation. And at the end of the day, it looks like PlayStation truly won. But the problem is that with PlayStation winning, and if it's true that Xbox is basically giving up and just becoming a third party, PlayStation can just ride on autopilot, on cruise control, and just enjoy the victory for many years until they start doing the exact same thing that Xbox was doing. At the end of the day, I've been saying, I even made a video where I said, I think it's time Phil Spencer
gets removed. And I was told that I didn't know what I what I was talking about. I think it's time for Phil Spencer to get removed yet again. But you know who should come in? I think Xbox needs somebody from PlayStation. I think Xbox needs Jim Ryan to come save them. Because only Jim Ryan can help them grow their IPs and actually make good games. But business-wise, I think Jim Ryan knows what to do to make Xbox profitable. I'm just saying. But let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. I just leveled up, I thank God. Straight from the mud, now it's time to get the pie. Sweat, tears, and blood, you can see.